Hi YouTubers, this is another video from your friendly neighborhood reviewer, Evelyn. So today we're going to be reviewing another K-drama series. The first part got released out recently, of, it's called The Island, starring Kim Nam-gil as the main brooding guy of Gold Van, and the female co-star of Lee Dahi playing Won Mi Ho. And then we get this unusual priest, priest Johan from Cha Yu Wu. So you probably recognize Cha Yu Wu from other K dramas. I'm not that familiar with him. So they took out six episodes, like two episodes daily, and I had no idea if they're going to take out the second part, six episodes just for a limited series. How would they encapsulate everything? So I've seen all six episodes, and then we tell you it gets straight to the point. I, everybody's been sleeping on this actor of Kim Nam Gil. First time me seeing him in such a drama. So the premise is it's all set on Jeju Island, in which thousands of years ago there was a war between the demons and the people. Present day Korea, the demons are reappearing again. So Kim Nam Gil, his name is Van, he's essentially an immortal half human, half demon. From our understanding from episode one till six, Back in the, you know, the olden times, the kingdom needed to experiment on children so they can fight against the demons. So they got two young boys, one Van and another one called Gutan. So they went and injected basically demon blood into their spinal cord and they became like monster hunters. Not so much has been revealed of what happened to them. And we get jump forward to present day career in which we have opening of episode one that this young bride and groom are going up a hill with the photographer because they want to get like nice wedding pictures in which they get unknowingly possessed when the bride and then we introduce to Van in which he is there on the island with his dagger and he defeats the, well, the demon and then we get introduced to the priest, priest Johan. When I saw the, the I saw the, the episode I are they making fun of the Catholic religion? Maybe, maybe not. In which the Johan is there doing an exorcism on a young possessed girl, and he's there, you know, the Gen Z priest with his headphones and everything speaking Italian. And then we get told about a prophecy that these chosen ones, that they're there to help re restore the balance of the world. In which we find out of the female co star of the character Wan Mi Ho. Wan Mi Ho is basically an heiress to, you know, a conglomerate family, conveniently called Dehan, in which all the other family members are trying to push her out. So they frame her for being overly aggressive. Her grandfather doesn't really want to hear it, but instead she gets to better her image that she'll go back to Jeju Island to do like volunteer as a teacher, and which she does. And she goes off with her butler, Butler Jang, and they're there settled in the place. But as soon as she gets off from the aeroplane, a lot of weird things start to happen. So once she gets to Jeju Island, we see that one Miho has been activated and we get a cool shot, this energy burst come out. So as she's there waiting, you know, to get get her bags, go with her secretary, so on, she gets attacked, attacked by the demon bride, the couple that we saw at the beginning of the episode. And she's there running for her life. Now this character, Wan Mi Ho, they kind of in the first couple of episodes, you find her so obnoxious. It's like she's putting her finger everywhere. She's not allowing even the demons to put her down. Since she has money, she thinks that money could solve everything. And of course, she goes through a character change. So when she's running away from the demon bride, Van appears and goes and saves her. Unintentionally, Van becomes Wang Miho's protector for the episodes, and nobody's really telling her what the heck is going on. In which we find out that Wang Miho is a reincarnation of a saint, and the first one that were interacted with Van was um, I can't remember the the first one, the the first person that of the prophecy, but Van as a child went and interacted with the original person that Wang Miho was. Like original reincarnated soul and it was like a promise that she would come back and save Van in which something happens we find out within the episodes that Van went and invertedly like stabbed her for what reason is unsure that hasn't been revealed and then of course there's the situation that Father Johan got told by the the Vatican let's say to go there and protect Wan Miho because she's the reincarnated saint 
in which he does. But nobody's really telling Wami Ho what the heck is going on and this poor woman has to be like running for her life, she has no idea what the heck has happened. She tries to get off the island but they don't allow her. But we also find out that her butler Jan has a connection with the church and maybe he, was, he became a butler to covertly protect the saint. And of course there's the other thing of, of like Father Johan, like what's the deal? Father Johan's there going to see like whether Van is there to protect Wang Miho or, or he's going to end up, you know, killing her. In which I'll explain that that almost kind of happened. So the second part we get introduced to Wang Miho's friend, which she's so nice, so you know, wonderful, and something tragic happens to Wang Miho's best friend's fiance. I'll get to that. But the first part in which we see Wami Ho manifesting some sort of power is when a young schoolgirl gets kind of trapped in a stalker situation where the boyfriend is there, you know, being abusive, threatening to send nude pictures. And then the young girl goes and asks help from a deity tree, a Benjulo, Spendulo, something like that. But I'll put here the names in which we find out that the young girl heard it from her best friend. Now the best friend of this young girl, she's a granddaughter of the old woman in the village. That also she, the old woman is a reincarnation of that to maybe a queen from back then. Because this old woman has connections with Van and she's there as a guide, mentor, maybe counsel. And then of course the young girl that's very desperate, in a desperate situation, she goes to the tree and, that, and says help me get revenge on the guy and I'll give over my body. In which she doesn't know that this would have major re repercussions of possession. Wan Miho tries to save the girl with Van and everybody else and she does. Because Wan Miho like this big tree monster thing. The series has good special effects, it's very different. And when Wan Miho is there being caught by the monster, she kind of lets out this gush of light energy coming out from her scar that she has from the chest and she ends up saving the girl but the relationship between Van and Wan Miho is very antagonistic at the beginning underneath all of that she has, she has a generally good spirit but well Van I feel sorry for his backstory when we when you see in the other episodes of how they went and basically injected you know that demon blood into the spinal cord you think you know these two kids were experimented on we don't know like what fully happened to them because that will come out in part two in february thank god it's a really you know there's so much more you want the story to be explained and van i think he feels terribly guilty for accidentally killing the original person that won me was thousands of years ago the original you know soul i can't remember the name i'll put it up here and he's there probably waiting for his penance or something from episode five to six there's been some criticism of the pacing of this show from what I've seen on Instagram and so on. I go straight to the point, let's consider it to be one long movie. I do wish in the, for part two we get more of these emotional scenes with Van and Wan Miho because I think, you know, Van is uh, suffering for guilt and low self-esteem. Kind of get the sense that Van wants to become human again. So, towards uh, like five to six, we find out that the second person, Gutan, that was that this guy appears with long silver hair across a wig that he's the, the second boy that got experimented on and something happened, he was asleep, now he's woken up and he's now there wanting to create an army maybe to kill humans, god knows what and we can see when Van you know, confronts him, he's deadly afraid of this guy. It looks in his face, but he's much more powerful. And then we get with Father Johan's story, that it's a very sad story, but it's the back of Father Johan. He was, uh, he had an older brother and they were adopted as young kids to an English Italian family, you know, and the kind of, again, the evil foreigner trope here, in which the parents that adopted them had a sick young son and they cho chose these young kids as, you know, to get their organs so they got, both got so separated. Father Johan got found as a young child by the, by the priest and while the older brother was in Korea like living a very hard life. And of course, Wan Miho finds out about Father Johan's predicament and, help, and uses her resources to help uh, Father Johan find, find his brother. But the reunion is bittersweet. Good time, the guy, the guy with the long silver hair, converts Father Johan's older brother into kind of like a fox deep. And sadly, even though uh, it was really sad, even though Father Johan was there, very happy to be reunited with his brother, 
he realized that his brother became a fox demon and he tried to ask Van for help, saying so maybe to help him live with the condition, but Van says it's no use. And then he asked Miho, because Van knows that Father Johan knows that Miho is the, you know, the savior, the saint. He tries to think maybe she, she can like help, you know, cleanse his soul, which is, which doesn't happen. And inadvertently, uh, Johan has to kill his own brother. So at the end of episode six, we have a big twist. The old woman's granddaughter apparently is in league with Gutan. And of course, they kind of cut off abruptly about what's next with Van and Miho, because Miho ends up does she does find out about you know her backstory, her, you know, like what why is all of this happening to her? Because she she confronts the old woman and the old woman tells her, You are the reincarnation of this saint and you're here to fix things. How are you gonna do it? I don't know, but you're just gonna be here to fix things. And maybe as well Van, because Van is tired. His wounds are not healing as quickly as possible. So that's, you know, the end from episode one to six. Like there's good, the dynamic between relationships. His character of Van, played by Kim Nam Gil. I recently saw, started to see the fiery praise because it does remind me of the series of Bulgasar and maybe Goblin a little bit. And of course a little, uh, you know, those two shows, but with Kim Nangil's, you know, the way he's portraying this character is like a little boy that's been abused and left alone and he's trying his best to make up for some mistakes. I can't wait for part two. So this is the end of the video. If you made it to the end, big thank you. Drop your comments down below what you think about the series and will you be seeing part two when it comes out. So, as I leave you always, bye!